Welcome to the Best of Jay Cutler Part 7. If you missed Part 6, you may be wondering what happened to 2011 and 2013. Two atrocious versions would never have made it amongst these good versions of Jay Cutler, so I'd be rid of both of them. We're just wasting time. We got to see them. We got to see them. And that's, all, I think, all we need to do. We put 2010 up here by 1999, and that will be today's matchup. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is a sticky situation. No back pitchers at all for 1999. Now, you may be thinking, why not use screenshots? No, no. For all you young tube YouTubers out there, don't go messing around with screenshots. Here's what I mean. This is Jay Cutler, perhaps in his routine or just the mandatories in his lat spread and this is either later on that night or the next day this is also jay cutler's the heights are perfect here and come on ladies and gentlemen there's no way there's just no way you cannot tell anything from a screenshot and i will i'm going with what i have here ladies and gentlemen and if 1999 comes out ahead just with the front shots then so be it and it appears here in this front relaxed position that, well, I don't know. I definitely would say 1999 looks a whole lot better aesthetically. Of course, if you break it down part by part, look at those legs in 2010 are much better. And I have to say, this is the, the first of Jay's Olympia career and pretty much at the tail end of his career, 2010, and he's really grown He's much larger. Look at those, even the pieces of his abs are much, much, much larger. And I have to say, his proportions were much better in 1999. Now, his conditioning appears to be better in the upper body. Back in the olden days, the 99 version, it appears his upper body is softer. But look at the conditioning of those legs in 2010. This is a coin toss, depending on what you prefer, and as you probably had already guessed, I am leaning slightly towards 1999. Now, I say slightly because those mechanical legs are just... You can't discount them in a contest, but I'm going with 99 in this slightly. Let's carry on. And once again, 1999 pulls ahead with the victory. Jay Cutler, his appearance really changed after the early 2000s. He has a wide waist to begin with. And when his waist got even wider, it really took from his front double bicep. It still looked good in 2001, as I recall. But in 2000, or in 1999 here, he looks fantastic. Tapered waist. Now well, he's a... Might have a little bit more grainy hardness there in the upper body, perhaps it appears here, but his legs look just as good almost in 1999 in this picture anyway. But wow, that V taper is superior. And besides that, look at the goofy hairdo he has here in 19 year in 2010. Looks like a big 250 pound evil troll doll. <laughs> anyway, let's uh. Award 1999 with another point. This is impressive. Let's carry on. And this one here in the most muscular, and I could almost see giving this one to 2010. He is so much wider. But really, the pitcher is t not tilted very good. You can see that photographer just really did not give a care about Jay Cutler. You know, he should have heard that the, announced the name Jay Cutler, and he should have ran and get into position there to get some front-on shots. But if you really break it down here, look at those delts and look at those pecs in 99. And he just looks healthier. His skin looks better. He's, of course, he's a younger man. Much more handsome, too. Very handsome young man. Anyway, a slight edge here towards 2000 and, uh, or towards 1999 here. But like I said, it really could go either way. But ladies and gentlemen, this is disappointing. This is the last pose. Now, we have this last year comparison, but this is him backstage in 1999. And, of course, the, the camera angle is tilted up above him in the backstage and perhaps a little bit lower, much lower, in the stage 2010 photo. So, of course, the legs are going to look a lot bigger and the upper body is going to look a lot bigger for uh, 1999. But I think it's clear and evident 
to see that those delts are way better. Look at the separation in the delts there in 1999. Of course, the lags are much more impressive, I will say, in 2010. But look at those big pieces on his waist. Those big... He looks like a bottle. Like Arnold said, he's shaped like a bottle. That's that bottle shape. And I will not reward that with anything. But I have already made my decision. 1999 advances on, ladies and gentlemen. And waits the challenge of the winner of the next one. Which will be either 2005 or 2006. Two very good years of Jay Cutler. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good day.